The devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria is sending shockwaves of concern half a world away to California. These workers are retrofitting an older residential building to make it more earthquake resistant. The main thing we're doing is we've installed this wide flange column and it's going to be connected to this foundation here. Many such buildings were built without enough steel to reinforce concrete structural pillars and beams. They lack what engineers call ductile strength. So the word ductile, it, yeah, it has to do with flexibility. A uh, building has to be able to move a little bit. And concrete is really strong, but it's, it's a little brittle. It's not very flexible. And so having enough steel inside is what makes it flexible because steel is very ductile. The magnitude 7.8 Turkey-Syria quake happened in a seismic zone strikingly similar to the San Andreas Fault, which runs through Los Angeles County, home to 9.3 million people. They're actually very similar uh, quake zones or uh, fault zones. Southern California is no stranger to large earthquakes. The 1994 Northridge quake was a magnitude 6.7, and it could happen again. In Los Angeles, there are about 1,200 older buildings, like this one, that engineers say would be heavily damaged if the city were struck by an earthquake of the same magnitude as the one that hit Turkey and Syria. The Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors recently voted to create new rules requiring retrofitting of older non-ductile buildings and to create an inventory of vulnerable structures. Experts who have modeled quake scenarios say loss of life in the event of a major L.A. quake would be much smaller than in Turkey and Syria because of better construction. Nonetheless, there will be uh, loss of life and there will be some uh, you know, destruction and people are going to have to rebuild. It's going to be a big hit. The worst part will be the aftermath, with major highways possibly severed, electric power and water pumping stations knocked offline for weeks. Los Angeles is preparing itself, but the forces slowly grinding beneath the surface are unstoppable. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.